Hi guys, it's me at the Pet House and today I'm going to be doing a hamster treat collection. First thing I'm going to start off with is the stuff in these boxes and these are the main treats um, and yeah, the ones I use most of. The first treat I have are these Vet IQ Niblets and these are all three flavours, the apple, the berry and the other flavour which I forgot. Then we just have some of these, these are like the carrot rolls or something like that, speckled rolls I think they're called. Um, and they're just there. Then in this corner we have a mixture of sunflower seed hearts and pumpkin seeds. I just got them from Tesco's and my hamsters adore these. In this corner we have the rodent garnish. This is meant for like sprinkling on top of the food but because it's kind of like fatty and really sugary I didn't give it um, like every day or anything. I give it as a treat once in a while and I sprinkle it on top of the food. Um, it's like a birthday treat or an occasional treat. In this box I have some of the hearty hearts. I don't know what they're called, but they're something like that, but they're little red hearts. And beside that we have some vitamin treats. I can't remember the name, but they are from Pets at Home. In this little section we have some milk, milk bones, um, but they are cut into thirds so that they can be given more often. Beside that we have some more pumpkin seeds. These ones are from the hamster, Harry Hamster food, which I took out because there was way too many of them. Inside that we, sam um, we have some of the Burgess XL um, apple snacks, I think they're called, and my hamsters, again, absolutely love these. Carry on next to that, we have some millet spray bits. I can't remember what they're called, but it's just basically little pieces of millet. This box has the more natural stuff, and I give this stuff way more often than I give the other treats because they're more healthy. This box has more unhealthy coloured treats, and um, they're larger, and I don't give them this box. In the top corner, we have some of these little rolls. Um, I think they're called stuffed wooden blocks or something, and my hamsters do like these. Um, they're just in here just to keep Next them Next to that, we have the Harry Hamster treats. I can't remember what they're called again, but they are really large. So beside them, I did cut some up, and those are the ones I can give more often. Underneath that, we have some of the Lucky Flavors from the Pick and Mix brand at Pets at Home. My hamsters aren't a big fan of them, therefore they're in here. Beside them, we have the Cheese Wedges, and my hamsters do like these, but they are rather large, so they don't get them often. And then beside that, we have some little miscellaneous treats that I got from the Rodent Garnish. These are the ones that I took out because they are full of colours and etc. Beside that we have two monkey nuts. I know these aren't like unhealthy, but there's nowhere else to put them so they're in here. Above that we have a donut. This isn't given as one treat, it's separated and given to them like one day a month so that they don't have like a whole last in this box we have some of the Alpha Alpha bales. Um to give fibre to my hamsters. They're not a fan of these, but they do like to like rip them apart and that's good for their teeth and they like making nests with them. Then in the last box we just have some spare stuff. So we have the container for the Alpha Alpha Bales. Um, we have a seed treat that I haven't opened yet and this is the carrot shaped one. And we have the Burgess XL treat. I'm not gonna count these like completely as treats but um, they're kind of treats in a way. So this is mealworms and linseed. Um, and this is given to them like every second meal, so like every two days or something. And it's great for their coats and great for their health, and it's really healthy for them. And I do recommend giving that to them. And then we have some, and that's just brought in a normal shop. And then we have some meal ones. Um, this is great for protein, so I give them to my house. So they have these two pink boxes. Um, these both have stuff that are like being used. So this is half of a carrot tree and half, well, a demolished rabbit one. And they are both for hamsters and both Ralphs, but I give them, like, share them out from meals. Yeah, random. And then in the next one, we just have some more of those alpha. Next, we have this Woodlands Fruit Salad. It just is a range of different dried fruits. This is really healthy as it has nothing added into it. And it is basically just dry. It looks like this it has like banana, apple pieces. It did have some strawberry where well, it has some left. And it has some really weird little berries in it. And um, my hamsters are It's a super healthy alternative to store bought treats that are filled with colours and extra shit. Last but not least, we have some millet. We have some normal millet that is just like this. And my hamsters do really enjoy millet. The next one is just this millet which I brought at Pets at Home. It is basically covered in um, like peanut butter kind of stuff and then sprinkled with flowers. 
and this is like a not healthy but a different option to normal millet my hamsters adore both of these they are all my treats thank you for watching and watch out for more videos coming later this week bye